Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard the voice from heaven speak to me. Here are my two witnesses. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. If anyone wants to harm them, fire comes out of their mouths and devours their enemies. In this way, anyone wanting to harm them is sure to be slain. They have the power to close up the sky so that no rain can fall during the time of their prophesying. They also have power to turn water into blood and to afflict the earth with any plague as often as they wish. When they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss will wage war against them and conquer them and kill them. Their corpses will lie in the main street of the great city, which has the symbolic names Sodom and Egypt, where indeed their Lord was crucified. Those from every people tribe, tongue, and nation will gaze on their corpses for three and a half days, and they will not allow their corpses to be buried. The inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and be glad and exchange gifts because these two prophets tormented the inhabitants of the earth. But after the three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them. When they stood on their feet, great fear fell on those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven say to them, Come up here. So they went up to heaven in a cloud as their enemies looked on. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, Lord my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. My mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-stringed lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil, evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Please stand. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection, came forward and put this question to Jesus, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, if someone's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman, but died childless. Then the second and the third married her, 
and likewise all the seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. Now at the resurrection, whose wife will that woman be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and remarry, but those who are deemed worthy to attain the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead neither marry nor are given marriage. They can, they can no longer die, for they are like angels, and they are the children of God, because they are the ones who will rise. That the dead will rise, even, may, even Moses made known in the passage about Booth, when he called Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And he is not God of the dead, but of the living. For to him all are alive. Some of the scribes said in reply, Teacher, you have answered well. And they no longer dared to ask him anything. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po muli sa ating lahat. Sa darating na linggo ay pagdiriwang natin ang Kristong Hari o Christ the King. Uh, tanda na sa, sa, sa liturgy ng simbahan, yun ang pinaka-end ng kalendaryo. Because sa November 27, Advent season na. Magpapalit na po yung cycle 1 kasi merong year 1, year 2, cycle A, B, C. No? <laughs> Although, similar yung uh, paririnig natin ara sa araw-araw, naririnig natin po ulit-ulit, ngunit ganun ginawa para paalala sa atin ang kagandahan ng ating reliyon. At higit pa roon, sa darating, itong mararating na araw, maririnig po natin yung tinatawag na parusiya, biblical term, ang akala natin, pananakot sa atin, no? Kasi maririnig natin kung paano magugunaw yung mundo, paano mahulog yung mga lahat-lahat, no? Kagilagilalas. Karang hindi ka panipaniwala. Ngunit, hindi yung pananakot. Isipin nyo, sapagkat sabi nga, ang huling kalaban ay kamatayan. Ngunit ang kamatayan ay hindi end ng lahat. Kasi, Si Kristo mismo ang nagpatunay na siya ay nabuhay, na meron tayong second life. Kung ayaw, kung ayaw niyong maniwala, sa, for me, hindi kumpleto ang ating buhay. Naalala ko tuloy yung na, minakausap akong uh, na, sa, sa, sa likod. <laughs> sa niya, Father, we just celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary. Wow! Sabo. Congratulations, no? Nakaabot kayo ng... Ang sayo sa inyo siguro, opo, kasi lahat namin mga anak, may kanya-kanyang estado, para bang wala na kami hiniling sa Diyos. Sabi ko, hiniling niyo na bang mamatay para makapunta kayo sa lakit? Hindi pa naman. Siyempre, may magagawa pa kami hanggang kami nakaka... Naka, may pagpapatuloy namin yung kaligayang nalalasap namin. For example, sabi nila, pag-aalaga ng mga apo. Oh, di ba ba? Huwag niyong, yun ang mga bagay na nagpapagana sa buhay ng tao. Kaya nga tayo hindi tinatakot. Mamamatay ka rin na. Ba't kayo lang? Hindi. Bakit sino ba gusto mong nagmamadali? Walang nagmamadali kasi ayaw naman ng Diyos na magmati. Madali tayo kahit na ngayon may sakit na karate na I have given up everything and yet meron pa siyang inaasahan. Baka meron pang misyon na gustong ipagawa ang Diyos sa atin. Kung susuriin nyo, lalong-lalo na kung berog sermon kayo dun sa mga taong sa pagkakanilang paghihirap sa mga hamon sa buhay, ay still naniniwala na may pag-asang darating. Meron mo kong kaibigan, no? Actually, namatay rin. Binigyan siya ng 
six months to live because may pancreatic cancer siya. Ngunit, nagawa niya na lahat. Sabi niya, Father, wala na kong accepted ko na. Kasi sinabi ng doktor, no? naniniwala ako. No? At nasabi ko na rin sa pamilya at mga kapatid, lahat-lahat na yung mga property ko na ano ko na. Ngunit, tanganda ko nang tanggapin kahit na pag sinisilip ko, nakakaawa. Ngunit, Ganun ang ano niya, no? Ang may baka mag, may pag-asa pa, no? Just in case nga natulog siya dito sa Manawag uh, for two nights. And sa, habang naghihirap siya nung mga ilang araw, nagkakemo siya, at least, sabi niya, Father, nahimbing ako ng tulog <laughs> doon sa kwarto niyo, doon sa baba. Sabi ko, talaga? Ang ingay-ingay ng mga aso doon. Kasi kalmado yung buhay niya, ano? kalmado yung sarili niya. Kaya hindi siya nang mamadali. Kahit, kahit alam niya nang ganun papuntahan, hindi siya nang mamadali. Sino ba naman ang taong gusto mong madaling mamatay? Kahit na tayo mga diabetic, kahit anong kirot, anong anong sakit, sige lang. Napakat kapag gumisi ka pa ng nakamulat, ibig sabihin, may manggagawa ka pa. Na instead na, mag-self-pity ka. Gumawa ka ng paraan na maka, magbibigay aliw sa'yo. Sa'yo na. <laughs> sa sarili mo, no? Kadalasan, yan ang malaking hamon sa ating talon po mga seniors, no? Huwag niyo laging isipin na we want always to be happy, no? At all times. Sayaw mo natin sa gusto. Sino ba naman hindi gusto masaya? Ngunit sa masayang pamamaraan na tingin mo ay iyon ang pinagagawa sa'yo ng Diyos. Kasi ang hindi ang ang hamon ang malaking hamon kung bakit tayo nawawala ng pag-asa eh yung self-pity sobrang ng awa natin sa sarili eh isipin niyo lagi bakit tayo maawa bago ma- tayo maawa sa sarili natin naawa na rin ang Diyos sa atin no kaya nga sabi niya kaya nga tayo bakit kayo pumunta sa Manawag yun na laging tinatanong sa akin ng ibang tao. Sabi ko, malay ko, kanya-kanyang ano, dahilan. Ngunit, for me, generally, pupunta tayo sa Manawag sapagat may pagkakataon makadalaw dito sa Manawag. Hanggang doon lang, no? Hindi ko na dinadagdagan kung ano bang mga bagay na nangyayari sa kanila, kanilang buhay. Kahit na makikita mo po yung nahirapan maglakad, yung nasa wheelchair, kung saan, hindi natin natin natanong, bakit? Dahil lang po niya, nakakikita sila ng ginawa. Kung sana sa araw pang araw-araw nating pamumuhay, ganun isipin natin. Huwag tayo magmadali pumunta sa langit. Kahit dito sa lupa, na langit na rin, no? Mga bagay na, kahit na sa tingin mo, fulfilled na fulfilled na ako sa mission ko, hindi pa po. Basta humihingin ka, may magagawa ka pa rin, no? Malamang sabi ng iba, si Father naman, eh, nabubuhay na ako sa gitna ng problema. Ibig sabihin niya, bukas problema na naman. Ganun naman paghihirap. Hindi naman, wala kang ginagawa. Kaya hindi ka nakakaahon, hindi ka makamove on sa ganun sitwasyon, no? Kaya, yun ang maganda sa buhay natin. Laging, sa kaya nga sa tayo, sinabihan tayo, no? Tayo ay mga krisyano na punong-puno ng pag-asa. Tayo mga krisyano na may sinasandigan. Tayo mga krisyano na mayroong pinaniniwala na Diyos na mabait, mga santo, mga santa, si Mahal Biren, na matulungin sa pabanggitan ng kanilang mga awa. No? Yun lang. Na-actually, na, napakasimple. Gawin yun. At ipagpatuloy nung nararapat. Kasi sabi na iba, oh, lalo sa mga naririnig natin, no? eh, tapusin ang lahat. Hindi naman, gaya nung naririnig sa radyo kanina, nakapatas ng yung suicidal attitude dito sa Pangasinan. Of all the places and the buildings, bakit ganun? Eh, ayawin natin, maraming rason. Ngunit huwag natin umabot sa ganun paraan. No? Ang sahil sa halip, Gumawa tayo ng paraan na makabubuti. 
If not to ourselves, especially for others. Wala pong pinakakaitan na, na tao para gumawa ng mabuti. Umiiwas lang tayo na makasama, makasira, makatapak sa ibang tao. Kasi <laughs> lalo tayong mapapalayin sa iba. Nalala ko tuloy yung isa kong klasimate na pare, no? Nung, uh, alam niyang mamamatay na siya. Pwede po ba? Request niya na sa bishop. Huwag niyo na akong i-display kapag namatay. Ilibin niyo na ako. Sabi naman, ano ba nang request yung pare ito? Nakakaya. Kasi nung buhay pa raw siya, nagmimisa, na, nagagalit. May pumasok na aso, magmumura. Eh, sariling aso niya yun. No, 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 mga masyal sa altar, nagbibinyag, bigla nang mag-high blood. Kaya sabi niya, yun siguro ang maalala ng mga tao kapag nakikita nila ako sa ataol. No, no. Makatotoo. Magkapagtawanan siya. Sabi, hindi. Sabi ng bisbo, sigurado yung ipagdarasal ka rin. Hindi naman ganun sa, sapagat ganun na nakita natin sa tao, sa pool na ang kanyang kasamaan. Kaya huwag okay, okay, tayong judgmental, no? Kailangan mahinaon rin tayo sa pagbibigay ng, ah, sabi na natin, kuro-kuro sa isang tao. Sa halip, isipin natin ang Mabuti. Mahirap kumisan. Ngunit pilitin natin. Sabagat hindi lamang tayo nagkasala o nagkamali, kundi ikit sa lahat. Who knows? Baka may matuto rin yung tao. Kung marinig niya man o hindi, mapansin siya, mga ganon. Eh, malaking bagay na yon. Kaya, yun po expect din natin. Kahit na marinig natin next week yung parosiya, ng mga nakakatakot na bagay na mangyayari pagdating ng panahon na hindi natin alam, just lang na nakakalam, and yet, live as it is, no? Normally, alam naman natin yung mabuhay ng normal. Hindi lamang dahil sa pandemic, <laughs> kundi yung kika na sa tingin nyo ay makakabuti, sa tingin nyo ay nirerespeto natin ating buhay sapagat Diyos mismo ang nagbigay ng buhay sa atin. Kaya huwag tayong matakot. Hindi tayo natatakot ng matay. Hindi rin tayo natatakot ng buhay. No? Pagyamanin ang buhay. Yun ang kauna-unang bagay na dapat nating isa-isip. Huwag siya tayo tayo. My brothers and sisters, how glorious it is, is the peace and the hope of resurrection. Let us pray with hearts set free from foolish doubts or hesitation because we believe in the promise of Jesus who rose from the dead. After this petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church throughout the world may continue to preach the good news of the resurrection and the life of the world to come. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in our daily lives, we may bring the light of hope to those who live in darkness and despair. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the poor, the homeless, and the needy may experience the Lord of life in the love and generosity of those who are kind to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who suffer may discover the healing presence of Christ in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may find joy in the certain hope of resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we offer our personal petitions and also in the intentions of this Mass. God of the living, may this Eucharist give us a longing for the eternal banquet which you have prepared for us, where we will joy, where we will enjoy 
the happiness of your presence forevermore. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, may the brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with these sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age when you look on the lowliness of your handmaid. You gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May hold it there for this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a twofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
He took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, to celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, Fidelis is a saint bishop in all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. This is Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion, Bago humarap sa magbibigay ng communion, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostya at sumagot ng amin. At isubo na agad ang hostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostya upang maywasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Maraming salamat po.
Ganda naman lang yung damit ng mga. Ganda ng damit. Oh. Please, all stand. Let us pray. <clears throat> As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended, we go in the peace and love of Jesus and Mary. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Hindi lamang po tayong nandirito, humiling na gumaling sa anumang karamdaman, Idamay na rin po natin una sa ating mga pamamahay. Kakilala nyo na nahihirapan, <laughs> nahihirapan lumakad, no? Eh, nakakarating po yan sa kanila, maniwala kayo. Pinakikigyan po yan ng Diyos. Salamat po at iwa, iwas lang, uh, ingat lang po sa pag-uwi. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary, Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of the rosary, in our religious articles. If we have them with you, just bring them out. Huwag na po kayong alis sa inyong mga pwesto. Lalapit na lang po yung mga ministers natin. Let us pray. In, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, and Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles of devotion be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.